All right, here we have a pop-up in file territory down the first baseline. The batter runner makes severe contact uh, with the first baseman. First baseman is in a very vulnerable position here, focusing on catching the ball. Batter runner uh, does not attempt to avoid uh, this fielder in any capacity at all. Umpires are right on top of this. They do get this right. It is an automatic dead ball. The batter runner is out. Uh, but there's something else to consider in this play, especially in a game played under National Federation or NCAA rules, uh, and that is malicious contact. Uh, that is something to consider here. Uh, I think it's important to analyze the difference between a batted ball versus a thrown ball and see if that's an element in either rule set uh, and what the runner's obligations are. Uh, it's a very vulnerable position here for the first baseman. Uh, he has no idea where the batter runner is. The batter runner makes no attempt to avoid this collision uh, and, and uh, you know, kind of attempts to go straight through them. Uh, very interesting play. I mean, the obvious one, of course, you have to get the batter runner interference. This is dead automatically. Uh, at the time of the interference, that is a piece that we have to for sure get. Uh, but a crew conference here uh, to discuss malicious contact uh, might be worth your time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like.